this point, I would like to formally welcome Taylor to the Muka family. Taylor, I think you have you've been with Ariana long enough now to know what you're getting yourself into. Getting married to one of the Muka sisters, especially Ariana, is not for sissies. I know that you're not a sissy. The fact that you actually went on a second date with Ariana tells me that you're brave. And the fact that you went on to marry her tells me that you're extremely intelligent. Mary and I think you're a wonderful guy who clearly loves our daughter, and obviously you make her very happy. Ariana, your mother and I are aware of just how blessed we've been to have you as our daughter. And we know you're aware of how much we love you and how proud we are of the lovely young lady you have become. It has been an absolute joy for your mother and I to watch a shy but extremely creative little girl blossom into the very beautiful, smart, and extremely confident young lady that you have become. Every wedding is special, of course, but to see your daughter get married is something else. Ariana, our walk down the aisle this afternoon is a memory I will always cherish. In so many ways today, you remind me of your mother. And for that, I'd like to propose a toast to the new and brave Mr. and Mrs. Tidwell. Pick you, Taylor, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Taylor, take you, Ariana, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. as an only child wishing for a sibling before Ari was born. See, I moved off to college when Ari was only 12, and she had to step into the role of eldest sibling when I went away. It was a role that honestly she was made for. She always has her pulse on everything in the family. She is incredibly responsible and a good role model for us all. She brings people together and she leads them in the right way. Taylor, I think that you bring out a lighter, silly side actually out of all of us Mukas that maybe isn't something that's quite there naturally. I also love that you guys bring out each other's adventurous sides, and I cannot wait to see how this mighty union plays out in the story of your lives. Taylor's best friend and it's not just like a you're my best friend BFF it's like we've been very very close it's been 17 years since he and I were walking uh, I think to the lunchroom and we were like who's your best friend well I don't have any other friends so I think you oh well you're also my best friend and ever since then it's been a journey Mukas I have some good news and some bad news the good news is Ari is married bad news is she married Taylor Taylor is actually extremely focused. The beautiful thing is that intense focus is now focused on Ari. To the Tidwells, I have also some good news and bad news. 
The good news is Taylor is married to the perfect person, and I mean that with my whole heart and soul. The bad news is, uh, well, there isn't any bad news. You guys got the you guys got the better end of the deal. Ari radiates some of the best qualities of the two women in his life that he's always been following, always observing, and always loving. Loving, and that's his mom and his sister, uh, Aubrey and Missy. Like any good leader, she never let any of us fall behind. Rather, she'd wait patiently and always keep the four of us walking together side by side. Her loyalty is truly second to none. Taylor, you have met your match. Ari will always lead you guys with loyalty, love, and protection. She will walk with you hand in hand and will shield you from anything life throws your way. Remind my sister that there's beauty in the moments that don't go to plan and please protect her in the way that she always protects everyone else. each other from first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point you decided to marry me. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed we have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations in the car or over a meal or during long walks, all those sentences that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will. Those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe. All those promises are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that we made are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it, every word. For this moment, you've been many things to me. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and especially teacher. For I have learned so much from you these last few years. Now we shall say a few words that take us across the threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between us. For after these vows, we shall say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. This band of gold never meant much to me, a link in the chain that the world wants to see, a part of the show that the world asks you for. You can do what you want behind any closed door. This band of gold slips off easily, but there's a mark underneath it anybody can see. The sun and the wind, the years and the days, made that mark a part of me and it won't go away. And just like that mark, there's a part of my heart. Your love, oh my God. <laughs> Your love protects from the storm. And there I can be a child who's free though my body is weary and worn. And that band of gold is as big as the sky. No ocean is wider, no mountain as high. It's as soft as your kiss and as warm as our bed. And with the band of gold every day, I leave it. <laughs> oh, mm. too much.